Hi guys, welcome to the course. Um, in this video, we're going to learn what the idea behind Docker is, why Docker is quite interesting and why we encourage using it. Uh, as you can see in front of you, that's the Docker symbol and the line says an open platform to build, ship and run distributed applications. What that means is using Docker, we can build applications and run them in a distributed manner, meaning we can run different applications on different machines or different computers or different hosts and make them communicate effectively and hopefully um, efficiently. Um, let's imagine the situation where we're developing software in our preferred programming language and our software relies on certain uh, versions of certain ex external libraries. Um, in this situation where we, in our development environment, we install those, ver ver uh, uh, those libraries, run the software, test it, and let's assume that everything's okay and we want now to deploy the software and give it to customers to use it or maybe transfer things to another place or to other people to use or maybe continue developing the same software. Um, usually in these situations, we spend a lot of time configuring the same versions of those libraries on different machines and different environments and that can be a costly process. It costs time and effort and money. Docker can help us get out, get out of that, or at least it can help us avoid that by placing our software tools and our libraries and, and everything inside a container, like inside a box, or as the name suggests, a container, as you can see here, on top of the ship, and then deploy that container and people can run the software of that container. The idea is quite similar to... Uh, virtual machines if you've run if you've used for example things like virtual box where you install um, an operating system inside your, your operating system the idea is quite similar um, although docker is more efficient in the sense that if you see on the left here on uh, using the virtual machines when uh, we install let's say virtual host uh, virtual box on our on our host machine or on our server um, it's it runs using a hypervisor and then whenever we install a new uh, virtual machine a new oper virtual operating system it is independent of the other operating systems so it does not make the most of resources i.e. it doesn't make the most of resource uh, it doesn't do proper resource usage whereas uh, using containers uh, the idea behind docker is that containers can actually reuse existing uh, resources. So containers are isolated, they are independent, but they share the operating system kernel and where possible, where appropriate, they also share binary files and libraries. And that way we can optimize the process of virtualization. So Docker, uh, the idea behind Docker is and virtual, and, uh, I'm sorry, Docker, and Docker containers is very similar to virtual machines, but as you can see here, they are lightweight virtual machines because they try and reuse existing libraries and existing binary files. So Docker is really interesting technology. Uh, more than that, um, Docker gives us this concept of build once, run everywhere, although currently it only runs on Linux, but it can be uh, 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 made to run on Windows and on, and on uh, Mac. But the idea of build once, so what you can do is create a container, you can put software into it and then deploy the container to your customers so that they can run things off that container quite easily. It's quite amazing, isn't it? So build once and then run everywhere. No dependency problem or anything like that. So the environment is usually it's self-contained, meaning everything is in one box or one container. No dependency issues, no dependency problems and installing the same version and so on and so on, of libraries and so on and so forth. And the existing tool, there are existing tools to make containers work together. So the idea, if we go back here, when we said distributed applications, there are uh, uh, fortunately existing tools to facilitate that, to facilitate the linkage, the discovery, and the orchestration of different containers. Um, also, it becomes quite easy to share containerized components. So if we think, for example, of microservices, we can create containers to do a certain job, to run something. Maybe we can create a container, maybe uh, to give it one input, do some processing and 
get us the output and then that output maybe can be passed to another container that does another job and then passes the output to another container and so on and so forth and these containers remember they can be distributed they can be on different machines on different hosts on remote hosts and as we mentioned fortunately we have the tools to orchest orchestrate that uh, process and as we mentioned they run on any Linux server today on any Linux machine whether it's physical so your physical machine or maybe it's a virtual machine or maybe on the cloud docker is supported and can be run quite easily so I hope that you're going to enjoy the course uh, stay tuned and follow the course until the end it's going to be quite interesting thanks for watching and see you next time